Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account. Welcome back to the channel. It's a Sunday on FIFA 21. We are seeing a weekend league sell off as usual, but this weekend it's pretty freaking bad. We're having a little bit, I'll even say, market crash right now because of the Sven and Lars Bender brothers, SBC, as well as the 85 times 5, the content that was released yesterday. I want to talk about why stuff is dropping as we head into this week of no content, of course. More weekend league sell off happening today. And. Um, maybe potential for new SBCs. We don't have any promo going on right now, but EA is still dropping us with some content. Of course, we had the brand new UEFA Man of the Match items released into packs yesterday as well. This seems to be the new way that EA is doing Man of the Match cards. They seem to be doing them on Saturdays at 6 p.m., right? They've done this two times now, and they actually have dynamic images for some of these cards too, which is really dope. Pug with a left mid card, Ziyech right forward, so it's once to watch got upgraded, uh, PK, and then of course Orsic for his masterclass against Spurs. That card is looking incredible, insane. That card is looking on this game. It's, it's nuts, but these guys are fluctuating a bit on the market. I'll talk about that here in a second. Uh, and SBC fodder is through the roof once again because we got more SBCs and people just literally cannot resist them. But we, we have a couple SBCs. The player SBCs are the ones that I want to talk about. There's some very interesting cards in here because EA is playing into the meta of this game with this Lars Bender right back SBC right here. Another right back that could very easily be used as a center back. Medium high work rates, um, six foot one, 90 agility, 89 balance, 95 acceleration. This card looks incredible, right? So if you take a look at Footbin, you know people are doing this card. 260,000 coins to do both of the Bender brothers, 3,000 upvotes for the right back, Lars Bender, and then Sven Bender has got himself a nice little uh, 2,000 thumbs up as well. So this is a nice perfect link for your squad, as well as Bundesliga, German uh, links that, you know, work a lot with Kimmich, right? Team of the Year Kimmich, you've got Team of the Year Neuer, you've got Flashback Boateng that people did. Um, so there's a lot of links that you, you can get with these cards, and it is kind of cool. This is cool content from EA, and it's decently priced. So I think that's part of why you're seeing a lot of crashing, especially in the center back and right back areas of the market. Now, if you take a look around the market, a lot of those types of cards are down, right? And Babu was 400K. He was 340 earlier, down to 358. Klosterman was 380. He's down. Brochiche is down. Um, if you, uh, honestly, if you take a look across the entire game, a lot of center backs are down. Smalling, 638. Right, that is way, way down for that card. Cancelo, 344. Luke Shaw's 139k. He was 160. So you're seeing a lot of, especially defenders in this game, special cards have been sold off because I think people are going out and doing these uh, either Lars Bender or Sven Bender or both of these SBCs and putting them in their squad. So that is a very interesting thing to see. Now, it's not just that part of the market that is down. The whole market is down, right? I think part of what happened over these last two days is... With, you know, the Rabio, the Sven and Lars Bender SBCs, the Party Bag SBC dropping, and then today we had the 85 times 5 so all of those SBCs are major, major coin sinks, and uh, SBC fodder is through the roof once again. I mean, all informs are like 30,000 coins plus. I did the Prime Icon pack today as part of the charity stream that we did. I got Vidic, which was cool, um, but I paid like 680,000 coins for that SBC, right? So that's why my coin total is down at the moment. Uh, but a lot of this stuff, people go nuts for these SBCs, man. It is crazy. There is nothing in packs right now. And people went absolutely bananas today for an 85 times 5 upgrade. Um, now, I know some people might just be saving this until uh, like foot birthday or a promo comes out because that pack like that could be really OP. Um, but it just seems really crazy for some of these SBC fodder prices to be where they are at. Now, of course, fodder was already inching upwards. But just to show you how expensive some of this stuff is, I mean, if you just look at individual fodder prices, you see it, right? 37K for Jordi Alba. We're getting to almost the range where stuff was when it peaked crazy, crazy high when that Icon player pick came out earlier in March, right? 41,000 coins, 40K for Jordi Alba. He just went recently down to 33K this past week and is now back up to 37, 38,000 coins, right? So unless we get some sort of tradable supply today on Sunday or over the weekend, which I'm not seeing a lot of potential for that, unless EA run another Foot Player Days promo or something like that, um, I know the, the biggest potential supply that is coming for the for fodder and for stuff on the market is probably going to be 
on the actual drop date of Flip Birthday in the first couple hours because there are so many saved up packs that it's crazy. Uh, so that is kind of one thing I think we could see. But again, this market right now in the SBC fodder area is just crazy, crazy, crazy high. It's ridiculous how expensive some of this up is. Take a look at some of these SBCs, right? Uh, Rabio 340. He was 300K yesterday. Mbappe is 2.25 mil. He was 2 million coins flat yesterday. Look at Messi, man. Messi's SBC is 2.06 million coins. This was 1.6 flat a couple weeks ago when it first came out during foot player days. The SBC itself is up almost 500K in value. That's crazy. Crazy how much this fodder has gone up. Uh, if you invested GG's, I feel like this has probably got to be one of the higher points. Now, today on Sunday is usually upgrade pack day. Um, usually when they release new upgrade packs when the promo is out. But of course, we have the silver bronze and the 82 to 88 upgrades still live along with the prime icon upgrade. So I don't know if we'll get more upgrade packs today. I really don't know what we will get for content today on um on a sunday but the past two days um, maybe they give us some sort of like objective for a draft token pack if they're giving us our draft token because drafts are obviously juiced right now with prime icons and honestly just insane teams you're getting in draft um and that's honestly just going to get people more packs that they'll save and open uh during this next week's probably foot birthday promo um but again the reason for why the market is dropping so much right now and as we take a look across some of these promo teams and team of the weeks and stuff, just to show you, wow, some of these price drops are ridiculous. Where Charleston is 800K, Talvin is 257. That is down, obviously, because he played yesterday. Um, but some of these price drops are due to just the, the, the game is dying for a lot of people. A lot of people are leaving the game or setting the game on pause, on hold, and they're not actively playing it. Also, um, people are just spending so many coins on these SBC players that it's taking so many coins all out of their account. They're selling these cards to fund going and doing SBCs. And uh, that's really making the market, you know, uh, weaker and have less coins. So that's why you're seeing a lot of this sell off too, because people don't have the coins to go and buy some of this back. Or also with foot birthday coming on the horizon, people aren't interested in buying it back. They might be running the tradables. They might be rocking, you know, going after the objectives or doing SBCs right now. And they don't want to have their coins in a team. So you're seeing a lot of these prices drop right now on this game, right? Uh, now, new house is up. Of course, that's because of the German links. Saka under 1.7. That's pretty low. Um, I did see Tapsoba today when the SBC first came out. This guy had a crazy movement. He went from 580K all the way to 800,000 coins. Went back down to 530 and is now back up to 595. So crazy swing on that Tapsoba because of the Leverkusen links to both of the Bender bros. Um, but if I'm watching the market this weekend, I do think there will be some stuff that will be flippable, right? As we always say, Bergwijn 579, that is crazy low for this Bergwijn card. Now that's a, that's an under flipping undercut right there. You can tell he is actually not 579 on the market. He's actually about 620, 630 probably. And that was a crazy undercut there. So that's the kind of stuff that you can find on a weekly sell-off like this is the crazy undercuts that are still profitable open bids i'm telling you i say this all the time in this stage of the game but open bids are 100 percent your best friend just focus on cards that people buy pretty often or cards that have multiple different informs that it's hard to actually find them on the market so you get lazy buyers pretty often like this pogba like this ben yetter like zaha we talk about him a lot um Take a look at those cards 100%. And then again, I already said it, but I'll say it again. Open bids are absolutely huge. They're huge during weekend sell-offs like this and when the market is very rare and there's not as many eyes on the game as well. I mean, this Bamba card is 327 right now. He was literally 380, went to 340, and went back up to 370. So a lot of panic selling on a lot of these cards all over the market. Now, you can trade with out-of-pack specials, informs, everything like that. People are still going to be doing SBCs today as well. So if you start seeing a little bit of a drop off in uh, SBC fodder, that might be a scenario where I say, okay, I don't know if we'll get any more SBCs like big time ones today. Uh, but you know, you can trade with fluctuations in informs and with SBC fodder as well. When I was looking at gold informs today to actually do one of the SBCs, I noticed I bought, uh, what was it? Um, I think I bought a Godin. I think I bought a 
85 or 86 rated Godin in form for 68,000 coins. I bought him for like 65, uh, but I know that he's going to fluctuate. He's a rare in form on the market. He's going to move up and down. I don't know if his graph shows it or not, but with just so much demand for in forms and for SBCs right now, uh, you're seeing these guys actually fluctuate a decent amount. So you can solution trade with these cards. Yeah, he was 63K, went up to 67 Friday between, you know, maybe 60 and 63, 64. So, you know, if you see a couple undercuts or open bids on some in forms like this, That'd be 100% a way you could look to trade too, is look at those informs that are in the cheapest solutions most often. You know, when it says they're expensive, maybe you go check them out on the market. They might actually be pretty cheap until Footbin updates their price, and then you can get a, a low deal on those. Icon moments should be pretty decent to trade with too. They're really, they're actually really good to trade with during weekly sell-off um, because again, a lot of open bids, a lot of uh, panic sales and stuff like that. Now, I'm also watching some of these brand new like Orsage, I know that he just destroyed my team Tottenham, and I should not be happy about trying to trade this card. But um, this guy fluctuates a lot on the market so far, and he's really, really rare. Like if I'm searching at 190k right now, if I go to like 220, uh, he has like two pages, I think, two or three pages. There's some overnights for sure, but you know, Pogba is pretty rare as well. If I could find this Orsage card at like 170 again tonight, which he just was according to Footbin, then I know I might be able to sell that at like 190 in the morning. Um, Pogba's card is very rare as well. I've been trying to find him at like 400k and maybe try to flip him around like 450 or something like that, but I haven't actually been able to find one for 400. He's kind of, ooh, 420. Okay, that was not, that was a 455. So there's some overnights at like 460. Maybe these guys will get a little bit rare. Um, I, I think Orsic, these guys need to get their dynamic images stored at EA Sports. That will help them out a little bit. Um, but I think a lot of right now is just, People are selling a lot of the cards that are in their teams. You're going to see them bounce around like a normal weekly sell-off. Um, but it's crazy to see how much sell-off we actually had today. And I think it just has to go down to the fact that so many people are selling cards because of losing coins. And they're doing SBCs. They're doing the 85 times 5. And they also know that foot birthday is most likely coming this Friday. I think that's weighing on people's minds as well. That might be part of what we're seeing with this panic selling is that foot birthday, of course, is coming. Now, a couple teams actually guaranteed themselves what if upgrades. Jovic and Le Melu are guaranteed to get their upgrades this Wednesday. Now, Jovic right now is 100,000 coins. Ooh, I'll take that one for 92K. Don't mind if I do. Uh, Jovic went up like 10,000 coins earlier today. These are probably going to be some of the only cards that are hyped up this week as they head into the upgrade. Um, Le Melu, I think, was like mid-70s uh, earlier this week. He went up to about 85,000 coins earlier today, went back down to about 77 during the panic selling after the Bender Bros came out. But there's a decent amount of hype for this card, so keep an eye on him. If he goes back down under 80K at any point today, that could be a scenario where you look to buy this card. Uh, and then if we have any games today on Sunday... Um, you'll want to keep an eye out for a few of those players as well. We have got uh, Villa and Tottenham, right? So Regulon is somebody who I would want to keep my eyes on at about 180K. If you could snag any there. This, of course, Tottenham aren't playing very well at the moment, but wow, is he actually 190? How much is Regulon right now? 193. Interesting. Footpin said he was just 180. So, you know, if you see this guy back around 180, there's, again, clean sheet potential today. Not saying, not saying that clean sheet potential is high, but it is there. Of course, Arsenal and Odegaard already upgraded. I don't know if there's any other live cards that are playing today. I think there might be one or two. I think Udinese and my man Perea is playing. So if you kept an eye on this card, um, there is a lot of hype with these upgraded items when they get close to upgrade. So Pereira right now is like 92,000 coins. This might go to 100K, of course, if they score a goal. The hype is absolutely the highest for these cards right after they score. So keep an eye on that one. I think um, Napoli is pretty close as well. How much is Mertens right now? He might be like 840K, 840 for Mertens. So yeah, keep an eye on some of these cards uh, as well on the game today because they could have some more movements based off of the team's that actually play games and have potential to get upgraded today on this game as well. So keep an eye on those. Now talking about road to the finals really fast, I want to mention these because a lot of these cards got 
they went down a lot post upgrade. Now, I don't know if a lot of these guys went down post upgrade just because of the fact that they they weren't desirable after the upgrade. Like a Kanji went from 500k last night down to 427, but I think he really got hurt because of the Bender Bros today. Um, Wynaldum is 478, so he got panic sold as well with the rest of the market going down. Cancelo, Bruno Perez at 239. I got my eye on this guy because he is right now the best right back in the Serie A for me. And I think that guy gets some hype. So I know we just had a right back SBC for uh, the Bender Bros, but I'd be very careful looking at that card. Salah is down 200,000 coins. Varane is down to 1.6. So there is stuff that looks very, very low. And I do think some of it will rebound a little bit into the week. Um, but I'm just a little curious at how much it rebounds because I don't feel like there's going to be that many people that want to buy stuff. You're really going to have to pick the right cards and pick your spots correctly if you want to try messing around with any of that. So uh, I was watching Neuer today. How much is this card right now? Neuer was 425 when the SBC dropped. He is now 468. His inform was about 190K. And this card is now still about 190K, which is interesting because he went to about 200, I think, when the SBC dropped straight away. So keep an eye on this Neuer card because that is a link that a lot of people, I think, plan to use if you're doing either one or both of the Bender Bros. So I haven't watched any reviews on them and see if they're like good in game or anything like that. But that I think those two SBCs right there are really, really impacting the market uh, today. Now, again, today for content, what am I really expecting? In my opinion, maybe some sort of small SBC or something like that. I don't really expect anything massive unless EA are going to throw a wrench at us up there. Uh, you know, if they have something up their sleeve, they're going to throw a wrench at us or something. But I don't expect a huge day of content today on Sunday. We've had two big days in a row with SBCs and we're not inside of a promo. So if EA went three days in a row with a player SBC, I would be, I'd be a little surprised, right? I know I've said icons for the past two days. I don't know if they like having us uh, work on more than six icons at one time. Maybe that's why they're just leaving these six icons in here. We might get the re-release of some of the, um, League SBCs that have not been re-released yet. Like I think the Serie A League SBC might not be out right now. Yeah, Serie A League SBC is not out at the moment. So that might be one that gets re-released. Um, and then maybe, I guess, maybe you see those MLS squad foundations uh, they could put out today on Sunday as well. Now, of course, probably if you're if you're in the game right now and you're playing FIFA, you might be grinding this moment's Giroud. This is the objective to grind at the moment. And again, this is the last week. We'll talk about this a little bit later. This is like the last week to grind icon swaps from set one because this season four ends in five days. So it's going to end on Friday, March 26th. This season is going to be over. We'll get brand new icon swaps, brand new season progress cards uh, because this is going to be over pretty soon. So if I'm going to be getting up here to like the level 20 range, get a couple packs, get these three packs here. I got to get my move on so I can get my XP up. But just a kind of uh, a small warning for that as well. Well, but again, that was the content today. A, a lot of market crashing again with foot birthday on the horizon with these SBCs that are out with a lot of coin drain happening. People having to pay a lot of coins to do SBCs right now. It's draining a lot of coins off the game. And that for me is why we saw a lot of panic. Now, I do think some stuff will rebound, like I mentioned, but I don't think a ton of it will because I feel like a lot of people are just kind of waiting for that foot birthday promo um, and to see what happens with that later on this week. Yeah. That's kind of how I feel like it's going right now inside of FIFA. So if you enjoyed this video, hit a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account, and I will catch you guys later. Peace.